Hey everybody, this is some stuff I got at Ollie's. Uh, type of game of sorts. Miniatures type game, which is called Arcane Legions or Legends or whatever it's called. Anyway, they're pretty cool. Uh, they were, I guess they were on sale. I finally decided to buy some. Uh, I think they were half off or something. That's why I bought one of each. Also, they only have 15 or so miniatures in each one. So, that's kind of also why I bought them. Uh, the only problem is they're the kind of miniatures you have to actually, you know, build and put together. They had the Egyptian army pack and the Roman cavalry army pack. The interesting thing about them, though, is they're mm, not exactly from... They, they mix historical forces with fantasy type forces. So, it's the collectible mass action miniatures game. Um, it says the Egyptian cavalry army pack contains Mark Antony commands the. C I don't even think these are at Ollie's anymore. I think they finally bought sold them out because they like knocked them at fifty percent off or something to get rid of them during that uh some sale that they do every once in a while. I think they were 50% off, and I think I also had the 20% off coupon that they send you for being part of Ollie's Army. So that's, yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, it's the collectible mass action miniatures game. Um, the Egyptian Cavalry Army pack contains five Greek centaurs, five mercenary Mongol mounted archers, five mercenary Mongol mounted skirmishers, Three formation bases and four sorte bases. So seven bases. And a bunch of mounted figures, including centaurs. So I thought they were cool because I thought you could add them to like your risk games or any of your other games that were require you to have miniatures like war type games um this one says this one says mark antony commands the combined might of greece and egypt but the sorceress cleopatra the seventh commands him together they filled an arcane army <laughs> excuse me like none other that has walked the earth. Its ranks filled with undead from Egyptian tombs, creatures of legend, the mighty Roman 13th Legion, and even the ancient gods themselves, all barely controlled by powerful sorcerers. Calvary on the battlefield represent mobility and power. This arcane legions, so it's legions, Egyptian cavalry army pack reinforces your army with 15 unpainted, Deco enhanced mounted figures, three unit formation cards and bases, and four additional sorte bases. It says the year is 37 BCE. The greatest armies armies blah, 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 armies of antiquity battled to control a magically altered world with an intriguing and mysterious alternative history. Legions of men and monsters, warriors and sorcerers. Sor Sorcerers, sorceresses, is an undead, and gods fight a war like none seen before. Arcane legions is easy to learn and quick to set up, so you'll be sending hundreds of figures to their deaths all under two hours. The next, <clears throat> so that the next set, um, I don't know why they can't just. I guess it's because people who play miniatures game like to, it's like a subset of modeling and hobby modeling. And I personally don't like building their figures. I personally also don't like painting the figures. So me, I'm over here like, why couldn't they just made them look like this and sell them plain Jane like that? 
not sure how big they are. They must be fairly big because it's only 14 in here. But then again, it's probably a lot of plastic wasted because you have to build them. Anyway, it says, Young Octavian, this is for the Roman Cavalry Army Pack, which includes five Lance Cavalry, five Sword Cavalry, four Ursin Cat Catrapect, Armored Bear Lance Cavalry, okay, three Formation Bases, and four more Sorte Bases. Young Octavian, now Emperor Augustus of Rome, and his sorceress mother, Atia, have combined arcane powers with Slavic steam power to make the Roman legionnaires more deadly than ever. Mark Anthony and Cleopatra's son, Caesarian, are, are the only threats to Octavia's claim to the throne of Rome. He must destroy them and bring Egypt under Roman rule. Roman rule. Cavalry on the battlefield represent mobility and power to Arcane Legion's Roman Cavalry. Army pack reinforces your army with 14 unpainted deco-enhanced mounted figures, three unit formation cards, and bases, and a four additional sorte bases. Also, as you can see on the sides here, that uh, there's all kinds of different legions. It says recruit. It says, recruit powerful pre-painted leaders and specialized arcane units in faction-specific booster packs, which also include additional unit cards that use figures from other packs. Then it also says, expand your army with infantry army packs, which feature 40 integral common figures and additional formation and sorte bases to flesh out your faction. And on a different box, it says... Recruit powerful pre-painted, says the same thing about the powerful pre-painted leaders and specialized arcane units, infection-specific booster packs, uh, which also include additional unit cards that use figures from other packs. This is what I wish they would have gotten, these pre-painted faction-specific boosters. That would have been cool. Then it says, again, another, talking about different packs for that you can buy the infantry. So this looks like there's an infantry pack for these two factions, and then there's individual, I guess, hero booster packs, where you get like one character. And here I'm going to open I'm going to open them and show you what I mean about all the space wasted. You got this, which is, I'm not sure. You got these, teaches you how to build them, but it's a bunch of glue that you have to glue the people onto. So this one might not be as bad as some of them, and then, of course, you have these little bases to put the, your different forces on. Because you literally put a bunch of horses on these bases. And then you got these smaller bases. So that's what you get. And the, the decks and the... I may or may not attempt to build them today. I need, I probably need glue. Um, I don't have, which I don't have. I may, may not, I may or may not attempt one day to build these things and then basically show them off to you guys. So this one's. The horses. Some of these look like there's. See, like this. Why would you make it where you have to put a hand on them? See, the hands are not put on there. Um, just uh, frustrating to me. 
I personally don't like that. I know there's people out there who don't mind that stuff, but me personally, I don't like that. So I haven't decided if I want to actually build them, put them together, or just, you know, try to resell them. But they must not have been that great or big or huge or whatever of sellers because if they were, they wouldn't have been at all these. Would they? I don't know. Anyway, remember guys, good all the time. All the, and they took forever to sell it. Ollie's. Even at this low price of six bucks. Finally, when they were like 50% off of all the game stuff and I had the 20% off coupon, that's finally when I bought them. And that was like a year ago or something like that. Uh, that was like maybe not even... They just... I just... Haven't gotten around to open them and showing them off to you guys as yet. That's that's it. Um, comment below if you know anybody plays Arcane Legions. Anybody collects Arcane Legions? Looks like they had a bunch of cool stuff with the game, but looks like it didn't go over very well. Kind of like that other game that you find, uh, Anarchism. Anarch, anarch, anyway, Anarchism, the card game, or whatever it's called, where they combine heroes from all throughout history and they fight each other. I found one deck, I think the Joan of Arc versus somebody else, you know, that weren't even the same time period of history. Uh, to, to, I found that one deck at Ollie's, which means that game must have not have gone over very good. And Ollie's is weird because what you find at one Ollie's, you might not find at a different Ollie's. So, anarchism or anarchism or whatever it means, whatever that game is, I think that's the title of the game. Anyway, it's a card game. If you check your ollies, you might find different Arcane Legion packs than I found. You might find different decks of that other place that I was talking about. A card game that I was talking about. Anyway, remember, guys, good all the time. All the time, guys, good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Jesus loves you. Jesus God. Jesus the Lord. Jesus King. Jesus is ruler. Everything. And you might not even find these anymore at ollies. Honestly, I don't think I've seen them at any of my local Ollie's and there's like three of them out here that I know where are that could go to and I haven't seen these anymore so they probably finally they pro a bunch of um <coughs> tactical miniatures game players probably waited until that sale that I was talking about and they probably also used their Ollie's army coupons and they probably snagged these for cheap because Half off is like three bucks from each, which is a steal. And then 20% off of three bucks. That's another like 60 cents off. So that made them like $2.50. So, yeah. Getting them for like $2.50 is like a steal. So, yeah. That's probably why there's not that many of them left. Because they probably got balled up by your miniature collectors out there. Your your, your game your gamers who play tactical miniature games and y'all probably bought these to have additional armies for your forces for your different games like like your Warhammer and your other your other various different War games. I actually don't even think War Room, which does a bunch of Warhammer stuff, has any of these games at all. Any of this. I could be wrong. They might have them, but they don't think so. Anyway, have a great day. And remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Keep on gaming. 
like, comment, subscribe, share. Jesus loves Jesus God. Jesus Lord. Jesus King. Jesus rule everything. And have a great, wonderful day. And uh, I don't know if y'all watched for the whole 15 minutes of me ranting and talking about random stuff, but uh, game related. But if y'all do, y'all are the amazing as people around because y'all stay around and listen to the whole videos, which I think is awesome. So shout out to y'all. You're the best. Later.